Alrighty, it's 7.02, and my heart rate there says, what, 85? I guess I was working a little hard getting my camping gear up. This campsite was pretty good. It's a little, we're up high on the mountain at the top, just about. It's just about 100, 100 yards up here. Didn't start a fire because it's just a little bit breezy. I do not want to take a chance, especially on top of a mountain. I slept pretty good. I didn't like my tent set up because I had to use rocks to pull my stakes out and had to get a piles of them to hold them. The ground is just way too rocky. That's when a standalone tent would uh, be way more beneficial. But I want to give it an idea of going up and uh, you can look back there. Well, you can't see as, as well right there. But back in that little green spot is where I camped. And the, uh, up on the ridge right up here, you can see uh, those concrete forms are the, what used to be the base of a tower that used to be here at some point. And here's a little monument to Little Ollie, the four-year-old that went seven miles up here. I've already shown that in the other clip. Really sad. Long, long time ago. All right. Oh, there's my man. I missed a sunrise, didn't I? Oh well. For some reason, I was tired. Oh, look at this. This is quite lovely. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> well, that made it worthwhile. And one last look, and we are off. Headed down the mountain. It was a long climb up. Pretty tough. I still have to take a look at, uh, I don't know, in a couple, three days. There's the Priest Mountain and the Priest Shelter. That's supposed to be really tough, so I'm going to have to be real careful there. in the green tunnel. It's not really a green tunnel here, but can't see anything. You can kind of tell looking on the outside. I'm sure there'll be a couple of open spots not worthy of camera like the top of the mountain, but still enjoyable as you hike. is what I think it's day eight I want to get within uh, I think it's the shelter something brown some, something brown something creek shelter um, it was in within two miles of uh, state road 60 that that goes to Buena Vista so I want to get to that shelter and then tomorrow morning get up I, I got to try to arrange a, sh uh, a shuttle ride into Buena Vista. Probably spend the night and get everything. It's only two days back on trail, but and also re I have to resupply because I only brought a couple of days worth of food. But the problem is there's no. Uh, I've got to go about 55, 50 plus miles. Uh, without being able to resupply or anything after I leave Buena Vista. So I've got to get everything all charged up I'm, and uh, get enough food to last me because that will be the uh, end point. That will be where I stop. And uh, it's where I think the Blue Ridge meets the Shenandoah. That's going to be mm, probably at least five days. I'll see. 
I don't want to overdo it, but I've, the pace I've been going is about about all I'm up to anymore. I've done what the first day at 13, which was more than I have done, and that was pretty tough. I've done uh, a 12 or two and an 11. I've done a 10 mile day and a nine, and today's an 11.1, .1. and in a, maybe a short day into when I went into town. So that's about, my body's telling me what to do. And I don't want to overdo it. Body's getting a little bit old. All right, let's get down this mountain. All right, that's the trail down to Punch Bowl Shelter. I'm coming here for breakfast and a coffee instead of where I camped at. It's two tenths of a mile down, so, or a little bit of down, mostly level. There's somebody down here, so I'm going to try to talk quiet. But, uh, yeah, this looks like a really neat place. There's a picnic table, which is one of the reasons I wanted to come here. They do have a uh, pit toilet somewhere as well. But look at this. Looks pretty cool. This privies looks pretty good, except it looks like somebody decorated it for Halloween. <laughs> well, good. Stay up there, spiders. <sighs> All right, down there's the shelter. Climbing out, it's a short climb up to a fairly level spot, but it's two tenths of a mile to it. And so I'm sure a lot of people don't want to take that time. Just another guy showed up, Gator. He's from uh, Florida, actually Oviedo. I probably should have got a picture of him. But, uh, yeah, two tenths of a mile. Bonus miles that a lot of through hikers won't do. But it turns out there's water, a picnic table, and a privy. And those are luxuries sometimes worth the bonus miles. All right, I can put this away so I can breathe with both hands. All right, I came from there. This is VA Route 607. It looks like uh, one of the Blue Ridge Parkway pullovers, but it's VA Route 607. Maybe it's an old, because it's got the same style of naming. Punch Bowl Mountain Overlook, elevation 2136. I've been coming down a while. Decent view. Okay, that road back there was the Blue Ridge Parkway. It wasn't VA. This is VA Route 607, just off of the Blue Ridge Parkway gravel road. So yeah, hope I correct that mistake. Ah, it's getting warm, it's getting very warm. And there's the white blaze. The gravel road goes down there. And now we go back into the woods for a while. Have a have about nine miles to the shelter I want to go to tonight. I spent a lot of time at that last shelter. Gosh, it was worth it though. I was able to eat breakfast, coffee, picnic table, get water, nice privy, nice Halloween direct, <laughs> Halloween decorated privy. All right. Hope we stay in the shade because it's warm. Okay, so my goal is Brown Mountain Creek Shelter, 8.1. And then tomorrow morning, I've arranged for a guy named Jim to pick me up at U.S. Route 60 to take me into Buena Vista. 
it's only what 1.8 more miles from the shelter the next morning it's supposed to meet me there about nine should be no problem now this my friends is the green tunnel rhododendrons is what defines what people mean when they say the green tunnel it just it's really nice it's pretty looks like it goes on for quite a ways so let's see oh, trip trying to get this behind me yep so far it's been quite a ways keep it up keep it up uh, I just went through a real rocky section it's nice to come into this with these uh, I guess some type of needle on the trail makes it a little softer there's a few rocks not bad love these trees some type of fir tree maybe spruce I don't know but a little different terrain it's nice it's short lived I see we're coming we're coming around the corner every turn has a possibility of major change in trail every side of a mountain one side can be huge boulders rocks small other side could be smooth it could be the same but usually there's a little variation okay that is the way i came from and i knew this was coming up sometime i didn't know if anybody would still have it marked but yes they do 800 miles northbound I've come 800 miles from uh, Springer Mountain. That's great. Uh, of course, in a lot of segments over a few years. But, wow. All right. Nice little marker. Well, the AT varies. Depends on what they do. Reroute a little bit. Here's another. Somebody put this together. 800 Nobo. Looks like a little tent spot. This shouldn't last long because somebody will end up staying here sometime and moving all that. But pretty cool. Where it came from. Oh, there's a runner. Wow. This is Reservoir Road. And if you cross over here, we're going to see a suspension footbridge. That's going to be interesting. Howdy. Aha. Nice bridge. Uh, hope I can get down to the water. I need water pretty bad. It's going to be a lot of it. It's just a matter of getting down to it. Oh, this ought to be fun. Oh, yeah, it moves. <laughs> Ooh. Looks like that river ain't moving much, but it's water. Something's coming down into it. That little creek is coming down into it. Woo! Keeps you woozy. Well, let's hope I can get some water. I have to stop and see what's going on. Oh, I definitely can get down here and get a little bit of water. Man, looks pretty cool. <laughs> Your mind wanders so much. The forest just changed to nice, smooth, pretty. But you're deep in the forest. You haven't seen anybody. Hardly see anybody. Actually, I did see one southbound gal earlier. <clears throat> a rarity that I see anybody 
And then you go through a little forest like this. My mind goes, you know, I think I feel like Little Red Riding Hood and the big bad wolf's about ready to jump out any time. Not in a scary way, though. Just funny way. And it brings up a song you can't get out of your head like Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. Little Red Riding Hood, wasn't that one of their songs? Or at least that was part of the words in it. Crazy. I keep looking down. The time I hiked with the two Brit guys and they saw several bears just by looking around the forest as they went. They'd say a bear would stick its head up. I haven't seen any. Oh wow, the path comes around. This is a reservoir. I guess I, one of the roads I crossed was Reservoir Road. Reservoir. 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 Reservoir in French. There's a huge lake. Oh, that's the, that must be the dam. Look concrete dam. Hmm. Cool. Big, nice little body of water. I think I come up beside it. Maybe I can get in it. There's a couple places it looks like it might be good for me to get in. And boy, do I need to. Oh, boy. It's hot. I don't know what it is, but it's got to be close to 90 if, if it's not 90. You can see where the trail goes there. We're going across. We've been, I've been going across a lot of little creeks where, I mean, places where sometimes I guess if there's rain, there's water. But man, these things are all—they've all been dry. Huh. Yeah, a little bitty puddle of water. Very little trickle. place I'm going though has a little bit of water I believe I may try to go down in there god that would feel so good I'm sure it's ice cold it's the one deep spot I see mm. okay so what less than a tenth or so of a mile back there I did I was able to submerge myself by laying on my back and that felt so good. Now I'm up here on this thing. I'll take a picture of it in case anybody wants to read it. In case I want to read it, I don't know. Memories of the Brown Mountain Creek. All right, I'll take a picture. Okay, Brown Mountain Creek Shelter coming up. Look at this, they're drying up. But first, let's go over a bridge. It's a good sized bridge. Oh, look, there's a. Oh, that's what I see some here. Smell. I got a fire going. I knew I smelled a fire. All right. Cool, I love the smell of a fire. All right, down there about, shoot, uh, three tenths of a mile, four tenths, I don't know. There was, this is the stream that I got in down there. It's funny. That tent I just took a picture of with the stream, or I think it was in a little in the video, is, is Scrappy Doo, the guy I've run across a couple, three times. He's the one who says he's done the AT like four times. All right, here we are. And it's the exact same shelter as before. I'm sure they've got a model they're using, sticking with it. Brown Mountain Shelter. Cool. I'm so ready to be here. 
All right. And Scrappy's back over there somewhere. I could smell the fire. He's got a fire going. Cool. <laughs>